Google Fusion Tables is um, a relatively new Google product um, and they have really, it's been a bit uncertain if it was a beta or it's been now public for some time and it's um, a really powerful uh, engine that Google uses for a lot of its data. You're going to have gigantic data um, stored in it so it's big data if you wish. Um, and at the same time, it has an interface somewhat like a spreadsheet. Um, but you, when you start working with it in more depth, you'll be using SQL, just like we've been using for our filters. So it's um, a, a very interesting hybrid. Um, one of the most interesting parts of it is that one can use data from other places, just like we do a join. Um, in our um, in our QGIS, we can also join our data in fusion tables, which um, can so you can borrow data from our people and and do things like that. But first of all, I'll just show it in its simple form without doing any joins, and um, then we can in the advanced section we can look at using uh, fusion tables with a bit more with joins on it and so on. So, we'll basically go back and um, have our data and have it exported as a KML. That's our base start for spatial data. If you want spatial data into to fusion tables, you have to do it as KML. So, we'll do this again. We'll go up and take our data set and save as and choose KML and I have already done that so I won't do it again it's there so we have our KML file and we have it in our web map and we have our money map data just like we use it for Google Maps however this time we're going to do something somewhat different so if we go back to our um, Google Drive and I will say that I will be down in this folder here. And um, this is an existing um, fusion table. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to say new. And I can say more, and I can say Google Fusion Table. If you haven't got the Google Fusion Table there, go down and say connect more apps and then choose Google Fusion Table there. So I just say Google Fusion Table, and I want to upload it. So I say choose from my computer, and I'll choose this data file here that was my Mooney data, KML. Um, or I could go out and search if our people had some data I could use. I say next. And here we have our data set in uh, fusion tables with all our attributes. And we have a, uh, it asks, is my first column my, co uh, my name to my attributes? Yes, that is, so next. Call it money table and I'll say finish. Of course, you should fill in these tags so you can find your data later, but it is, I'll delete this in a moment. So, it's, um, I have my descriptions, I have my sex ratio, I have all my other things here. And I also have the possibility of having a map So here we have our map. This somewhat like we had in um, Google Maps, but we have some better control of it here, luckily. So I can change my feature style, and I can say I want to change my fill color, and I want to use some buckets, they call it, and I want to have uh, eight buckets, and I want to do it based on my income 
and the only thing important is here you press this one use this range so now it has created this range here and you can of course edit these yourself and you say save and now we have our map in uh, fusion tables and I can click on the object and it will bring me the information I also got it here same data as rows so I can edit my data here as a spreadsheet I can have them as individual records so I can skip through my records um, edit them and I can also go back to my map here so I've got this strange thing and the most important thing is here that I have the possibilities of under file going and say merge which is the fusion table terminology for join so I can create new data um, if I didn't have geocoded data it has a geocode possibility so I can do that. Um, I can create a view, which is a SQL-based subset of it, so only those municipalities with a high income or whatever. And finally, I can go and I can change my map or I can publish it. So now I'd like to, at the moment, it's my private data set, so I'll change its visibility as or my our Google things to public available on the net like that that's done and I'll just go and publish again so here I can now control how large it is I have an iframe so the size of the iframe and I can um, publish it at, and JavaScript to Google Drive. So I'll create a folder like that and publish it. So now it's created a website there. I can see that. So here we have my little map um, with the size specifications I had running like that. Um, so I have a link. I can also um, in my publish what's really interesting is that I my iframe element here so I'll just copy that and I can then paste that to a place that supports um, my um, fusion table iframes. However, that's not very many sites that does that. So I'll be using um, Rook's uh, Map Room Publishing. So I'll just go to uh, and it um, sign in. And it will sign in using Wook single sign on. So once I've signed in, I've signed in by using the single sign on, I can say add contents. And I will create a different type of contents, an online map. I will call it. Uh, map from fusion tables this is the body and hit oh and this little tick thing here I have a toolbar and I want to edit the source the HTML and I'll just paste in my iframe oh, maybe I should uh, do like that um, and uh, Ensure that it is non convert so it's not going to convert the HTML, it will allow the HTML to go through, and I'll save it.
and now I have my little fusion table map uh, here in my map room I have my parts municipalities here I can click on them and can get the information so if you have a website that supports iframes from fusion tables fusion tables is also a very simple and efficient way to make online maps and if you want to do a wee bit more programming you can also have multiple layers and really do some advanced things using fusion tables and also in fusion tables what we can do if I now find my fusion table here is that I have now I have made a a uh, map in my fusion table interface I can add other things so I might make a chart so I might say okay I would like to have a bar charts of my sex ratio or my maybe I just my, my income I can say how many I want I want uh, I'm probably yeah this is 5 of 99 so of course that does look a bit crowded um, so we could choose our 20 highest income if I want to uh, have them by income I'll sort them like that uh, first so now I have a chart of the income for the 20 highest and just like with my uh, map I can go and publish it and it will again generate a iframe that I'll now copy so like that and go to my map room edit this box um, in my source I can underneath my iframe for the map I can paste in my iframe of my um, of my chart and save this and now I have a page where I both have the chart of my income and my map so fusion table really does give us some possibilities which are a peculiar mix between map databases and uh, and a spreadsheet so those are all those basic ways of putting uh, QGIS data online in another, webs or another series of videos I'll be looking at some of the more advanced things um, such as using the D3 uh, JavaScript library where we can do even more to mix maps and charts or look at how we can handle larger data sets and that's what we've been doing here relatively limited so I hope you like this series